Welcome back, people. This is a 2007 Mazda Tribute. Once again, I'm at the MLAX um, car wrecker, and I got people watching me. MLAX car wrecker, self service. Another car, another car they've got here, guys. Mazda Tribute. Look at all this. Look at the interior. This is really interesting, guys. I thought I would come and show you this one. Hmm. Huh. What's all this in here? So, it's got one compartment and it's got another compartment under, underneath. Look at that. Mine doesn't have that. Mine doesn't have the little cab cabin there and I've got a right next to it here. I've got a Ford Escape which is basically the same car. So let's just have a look at the inside. And I've got somebody coming to interfere with me. Interesting, interesting guys, interesting. So, I've got, um, I'll just stand back a little bit so I can get a clear view of the interior before I show you the outside. It's got a nice interior, nice bucket seats as well. A little bit different from the my uh, Ford. These are supposed to be like the sports models really of the time, SUVs. Sports utility vehicles and the back of mine there it is right there Ford Escape and a, a Mazda Tribute V6 same engine different uh, slightly different uh, parts on them the lights are a little bit different so we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison in a way really some people prefer a Mazda and some people prefer a Ford I used to be a, a Mazda fan a lot more. I'm actually uh, really interested in. I'm actually more interested in the Fords now because I got this one. I guess whatever you buy, whatever you own, you become interested in that particular brand. So inside, nice steering wheel. It's got a center gear shift selector, whereas the Ford doesn't have that. Uh, looks like they've got oh, got a CD player. CD require CD changer control. I don't know how many CDs you can take, but the Ford also has it, but in a different way. They have cassettes because back then, this is a 2002 model. Cassettes were still a big thing. And there were a CD stuck up at the bottom. It's pretty much the same car, you know, but slight differences. Mirrors on the side side um, step option really nice tires too so whoever's gonna buy this one at the wrecker this is for sale at the wrecker at the wrecker 2800 is for sale guys 2800 you can have yourself an almost roadworthy car i would say this car is pretty much roadworthy look at those tires guys fresh these back tires are really really good and here's a, some of the details there there you go it's only it's low kilometers retractable aerial it's got a crack here just a small crack eh, mm. I don't know if it will be roadworthy but it can be fixed weld that a little bit with uh, some plastic if you're really clever take it to your kind of beta guys they know what to do with this oh it's clean under here really clean wow Guys, look how clean that bottle is. Coolant is clean. Whoever had this one, they really looked after it, I'm thinking. It looks pretty fresh. Fresh, everything's fresh. Pipes are clean, engine is clean. It's got the Mazda sticker still on it. It really looks like something an old couple would have owned. Really clean. Look at down there. Engine is clean, it's been washed. 
no oil leaks yeah really nice 2007 another little stretch mark there side is popped a little bit but not much fog lamps at the front it's got a nice look doesn't it guys doesn't it look all right Or should I put them side by side like this? Side by side. Let me show you underneath as well. Grill looks pretty good. Radiator looks clean. Doesn't look too old. Not too many bugs in there. Ooh, that uh, cooler has been dented a little bit just a little bit from the crash so no guarantee air conditioner is going to be working not guaranteed let's have a look underneath checking for oil leaks the best way to check is just go right under there and have a good look guys if you're coming down to buy this car i would say it's got a slight oil leak some drips on them on the floor there i think it's got a small oil leak but don't know what that is could be it could be um, transmission oil, it could be power steering oil, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like a big issue. Oh, look at that there, look, not bad. Windscreen looks pretty good. Again, looks clean. Hmm, very nice, very, very nice. No dents on the side. Again, it's pretty much identical copy. Of it, well, they're not identical. Sorry, I shouldn't say they're identical. Lights are different at the front and the back. They both got a V6. Uh, from this angle, dark interior. I would say it's a black interior with a like a bluish, but it's actually it's supposed to be black. Yeah, really nice. Roof lining, velour. Actually, it's not velour, it's something else. It's like a woolen material. I don't know what you call that. Tinted windows. Looks pretty nice. That suede on the back, on the side here. Doors. Nice. Door seals are all fresh. I've checked them all. They look pretty good. Wow. Why, guys? Wow. It looks like a really good buy for somebody. Fresh rubbers sealed. Hmm, very, very nice. 2007. 2007. Split seats. You can fold these seats separately, just like the Ford. Good feature. Oh, it's got an armrest in the center. The Ford does not have that. And a light in the door front on the back as well as the front I believe yeah I don't think the Ford has that back yeah big boot it even comes with a cover that you plug into here so you can uh, cover your luggage or your groceries looks nice fresh lights very shiny Roadworthy level, I would say. This car is pretty close to roadworthy. It also has a split glass. So you can open up just a glass. And that way... Oh, what is that? Auto group. What are they bringing here? Auto group. Anyway. I thought it was a windscreen, guys. Because I'm looking for a windscreen. Look at that car fresh and it's also got a roof rack as well nice roof rack alloy wheels good really nice shape yeah really nice roof rack no sunroof tire size 235 70 16 very nice and it's also got rear uh, what do you call them discs disc brakes this one has drums 
I believe later in about 2006, the same year as this one, 2007, they bring in uh, rear calipers as well at the back and they get rid of the drums. But I haven't found it to be an issue. Uh, this is a Escape XLT. This one is Mazda Tribute. It just says Mazda Tribute. They don't have the letters on the side to let you know what it is. Uh, the equivalent of this in this model, I think it's a, it's it's um, limited edition. There should be a, a limited here, which gives it more options. But for now, this is all it is, guys. Difference. Look at that. Different. Mine's a little bit messy as well. Mine's a little bit older too. But not much different. The steering wheel is different. Um, interior seats are different. They've got a mind full of equipment. Buckets. Yeah, it's got buckets as well. Just a different, different design, but roughly similar. Roughly. Roughly the same. Okay, guys. Good to see you guys. Catch you later.